Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 7, Ordering Integers and Other Rational Numbers. Okay, classwork, exercise 1. Graph the number 7 and its opposite on the number line. So I'm going to do that first. Graphing a number just simply means to put a dot at its location. There's 7. And it's opposite, the opposite of 7. By definition, 7 is 7 units to the right of 0. So if I go 7 units to the left of 0, I have gone the same distance in the opposite direction, and that is its opposite, negative 7. Then it says graph the number 5 and its opposite on the number line. I'll use green for that. So I'm going to graph the number 5, which is 5 units from 0. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over to here, and there is its opposite. Okay. Beesh. All right. B. Where does 7 lie in relation to 5 on the number line? So where is this in relation to 5? So I would say 2 units to the right of Seven. Two units to the right of seven. Where does the opposite of seven lie on the number line with respect, with relation to the opposite of five? Where does the opposite of seven, which is here, where does it lie in relation to the opposite of five? I will say two units to the left of negative five or the opposite of five. Two units from the to the left of negative s or the opposite of s. Oh, it doesn't recognize my fives. Okay, but you get the idea. That's a five and that's a five. D. I am thinking of two numbers. The first number lies to the right of the second number on a number line. What can you say about the location of their opposites? If needed, refer to your number line diagram right here. I'm thinking of a, two numbers. The first one lies to the right of the second. Okay, we got it. So the second is less than the first. What can you say about the location of their opposite? Now I'm going to fill you in on my secret. My secret number is one. That's my first number. The other number I was thinking of lies to the, it says the first number lies to the right of the second number. There's my first number. My second number was negative two. Okay. What can you say about the location of their opposites? Negative two is to the left. They're opposites. So then if I take the opposite of negative two, I'm actually at this point, And I take the opposite of negative one, I'm at that point. Okay. So what can you say about the location of their opposites? I would say the opposite of the first number lies to the, the opposite of the first number is my first number here. Here's my second number. Okay. Oops, that's not my second number. This is my first number. This is my second number. The opposite of the first number lies to the what of the second number? Lies to the left of the second number. scratch. All right, that's better. The opposite of the first number lies to the left of the second. 
Okay, example one, the record low temperature for a town in Maine are negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit for January and negative 19 degrees Fahrenheit for February. Order the numbers from least to greatest to explain how you arrived at their order. Least to greatest. Record low temperatures. Okay. So if I drew a number line to model this, okay, explain how you arrived at your order. Negative 20, then negative 19. To explain my order, I would draw a vertical number line for talking temperature. Then I'm going to put zero way up here. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Negative 19, negative 20, zero. Negative 20 is further from zero than negative 19, so it is smaller. Think about that. The bigger a negative number gets, the smaller it really becomes. Negative 100 is smaller than negative 1. Agree? Think about that. So, negative 20 is further from 0 than negative 19, so it is smaller, less than. Okay? Moving on. Exercise 2. For each problem, order the rational number. Rational means it can be written as a ratio. From least to greatest, first by reading the problem, then drawing a number in the line diagram, and finally explaining your answer. Okay. John's time for running the mile in gym class is 9.2 minutes. Jack's time was 9.18 minutes. Who ran the mile last time? So if I put those in order from least to greatest, 9.18 or 9 and 18 one hundredths is less than 9 and 20 one hundredths. 18 is less than 20. So it says least to greatest, least to greatest, and then draw a number line to explain your answer. So here's my number line. If zero was here, and I came all the way over here, and let's just say nine is here, and 10 is here, and there's a break here, because that's not to scale. Okay, here's 9.5, 9.4, 9.3, 9.2. Well, 9.2 is right here, so let me zoom in on this some more. Let me draw a bigger number line. I'm going to zoom in more. And let's put 9 here and 10 way down here. So I'm zooming in. So here's 9.1. And here is 9.2. Well, 9.18 would be about here. 9.18. And 9.2 is here. Okay? So 9.18 is closer to 0, which is down here. Closer to 0, the smaller it is. The further from 0 on the positive side, the further you are away from 0, the bigger the numbers get. Okay. Mr. Rodriguez is a teacher at Westbury Middle School. She gives, oh, misses. She gives bonus points on tests for outstanding written answers and deducts points for answers that are not written correctly. She uses rational numbers to represent the points. She wrote the following on a student's paper. Student A, negative 2 points. Student B, negative 2.5 points. Did student A or student B perform worse on the test? So if I draw a number line, remember, we want to know what's further from 0 on a negative side is smaller. So here's negative 1, negative 1.5, negative 2, negative 2. So we have a student here at negative 2, and we have a student who got a negative 2.5. Student A and student B. Here is 0, who's further student B is. And they're negative, so that's less. So two, negative 2.5 is less than negative 2. Did student A or student B perform worse? Student B got a lower score. Okay, number 4, a carp is swimming approximately eight one-fourth feet beneath the water's surface. So we have the water here. We have a vertical number line for this problem. 
so the water surface would be zero. If it's a flying fish and it jumps out, okay, it's flying, it's got wings. I'm no artist, by the way, can't you tell? Okay, so there's my flying fish. But we have a carp way down here, okay? It's eight and one quarter feet beneath the water surface. So that's eight and one quarters feet low is negative. A sunfish, sunfish are kind of flat. So I'll show him looking like a big, huge disc with a tail. There's my sunfish. See the rays coming off it? Get it? So it's a sunfish, so it's gonna have a smiley face. There's my sunfish. It is three and one half feet below the surface. Which fish is swimming further beneath the surface? Further from zero, in other words. Further from the surface, zero. And the answer is my happy carp. All right, the carp is further from zero than the sunfish. Okay? All right, I apologize for the poor artwork. Henry, Janin, and Clark are playing a card game. The object of the game is to finish with those points. The scores at the end of the game are Henry, negative 7, Janin, 0, Clark, negative 5. Who won the game? The object of the game is to finish with the most points. So that was the key here, because some games you want to come out with the least amount of points, like Bubble, okay, or Hearts, if you ever play that card game. Lower, lower the score, the better. But in this case, the most points is the winner. So if I drew a number line, okay, and zero is here, negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, here's negative seven, here's negative five, and there's zero. So this is Janet. This is Henry. And this is Clark Griswold. Okay, who came in last place? Well, uh, further from zero is lower, so the answer is Henry. Use a number line model? I did. Explain how you arrived at your answer. I did. Further from zero to the left of zero is larger negative, is a smaller number. Okay? Exercise five. For each problem, order the rational numbers from least to greatest. Keyword right there. Least to greatest. Sometimes it'll say greatest to least, so you have to focus on that. By first reading the problem, then drawing a number line diagram, and finally explaining your answer. So read the problem, draw a number line diagram, and explain your answer. Henry, Janet, and Clark are playing another round of the card game. Their scores this time are as follows Clark, negative one, Janet, two, negative two, and Henry, negative four. Who won? came in So I draw my number line. And I put zero here. Negative one here. Negative two here. And negative four here. If not, I'm just going to label the one scores. So this is Clark. This is Shannon. And this is Henry. Who won? Highest score. Clark. Who came in last place? Henry. Henry is the big loser. Okay. Henry lost. Part one. Represent each of the following evaluations using a rational number. Then order the numbers from least to greatest. Cayuga Lake, 122 meters above sea level. Mount Marcy, 1,629 meters above sea level. New York Stock Exchange Vault, 15.24 meters below sea level. Repeat, represent each of the following using a rational number. 122 is rational. 1,629 is rational. 15.24 is rational. Then order them from least to greatest. If I used a number line, okay, we obviously can't do one to scale. 
the biggest number is 1,629, and then somewhere down here is 122, and then finally, zero here, and this is below sea level, so I need a minus sign there, negative 15.24, okay? Here's our, here's our sea level here. And obvious, actually, I should actually take this and make it what? Since we're talking about level. I should make it vertical. There, how's that? Vertical. And I missed one piece when I did this. this 15, negative 15.24 should be right here. Zero, 122, 1,629, where zero is sea level, okay? So the New York Stock Exchange fault is obviously underground. Closing. What is the value of each number and which is larger? Use your teacher's verb clues in this number line to determine which number is larger. Okay, so there must be some closing information, or is it from six? Okay, this was just a closing verbal game that will be done in class, so I'm not going to do this on the video. So this is the end of Lesson 7 of Here Problem Set.